Hey, what's up, everybody? Rich from Street Gear, Hampstead, New York. Today, we're going to review the Motorsport Force. This shoot's coming out uh, 325 and the box price is 190 The color on the box is white, game world, black. I'll use this one since it has the orange hang tag on it for review. Um, the shoe came out in 1989. It was another Tinker Hatfield shoe. Um, Mike wanted a little more support, uh, so that's why they put these uh, these straps here on it. Um, it's a little heavy uh, with this polyurethane midsole, and then it's going to mold the part of the midsole as well. So they put this mesh in here to try to take some weight off of it, but she's still got a little weight to her. Um, but um, anyway, that's what that's what he wanted, so that's what they, they, they try to make it a little more supportive for him. Um, it's also one of the shoes that started really Jordan brand to go global, and it started to kind of hit with this Jordan Four. And, and, you know, and beyond. So um, that's the that's just a little bit brief history on it. Um, these are the Motorsport Fours. These are Motorsport is about you know for motor, um, Mike's uh, motor, motocross um, business. Um, I think that motocross business is out now. I know I think in 2013, 2014, I think they stopped doing it domestically and they were talking about doing it um, going abroad and still keep, keeping the team up. But I don't know if that had happened or not. So, but that's where the theme comes from. That these were his col colors in that motocross. Um, Team. So, um, so these are the motorsports. These had come out. Um, well, they really weren't out. It was 2006, 11 years ago. It was a friends and family only that, that got this color. And, um, so, um, I mean, they really weren't really out for the, the, the public. So, really, this is kind of really the first time this has been retro in this color. Um, the workmanship on it, um, I think, is really nice. I mean, you know, it's it's plain. It's not it's not a tumbled leather. It's just a reg, reg, regular leather. Um, but you know, it's definitely like another remastered series where I can see that definitely that the, um, it's a little, little heavier built and how the seams are and how the leather looks and feels. Um, workmanship, I think, is, is, is really nice. Um, I like this the colorway also. I mean, it's, it's a good basic colorway um, with the blue and black hits. Um, of course, you got your, your blue back there and your jump man there. You got it here a little bit on the midsole, on the eyelets. You got your flight with the blue jump man there. Um, of course, all in, uh, the inside here is all blue and you probably got a little white. No, it's, no it's, oh, it's actually got a black with a blue right there, jump man. Okay, um, we went to two bottoms there. Um, of course, to, to go back to the history, the, the uh, fours look a little bit like the threes for the midsole. They kind of used to, Tinker used to kind of take pieces of the previous Jordan to put onto the next Jordan, so you can kind of see a similarity there for the, the midsole on the threes. But um, here's our orange hang, hang tag that's part of the retro. Um, yeah, it's a good looking shoe. I like it. I like it a lot. And like I said, I don't think no one has had this colorway. I don't think it was that many pair back then when that friends and family was around. So I don't, very few people have had this colorway. So I'm sure these are going to be, you know, it's going to be, they're not, I don't think these are going to be sitting on the shelves at all. Um, these are going to be, you know, I think guys are going to want this in their collection because most people didn't get it last, you know, when they, when they came out. And even then, that was, hell, that was 11 years ago. So, um, yeah, this is a good look. Um, as far as hats, I mean, I can't believe it, but there's only had one hat. It's a, a magic hat that I thought that would look the best with it. I wish I had some bulls or not, well, some kind of hat, a special makeup hat to go with it better. But um, I don't like this rise. Take that out of there for you. Um, but yeah, this, this is the nicest looking hat. That, that matches it pretty well. Yeah, it's a good looking shoe. Uh, but like I said, be careful with this one because I think this one's going to be um, um, not sitting on the shelves, I don't think. So... Um, so that's it. Um, we got a couple of shoes in since last time. Not much. Um, more shoes will probably come in with the next probably two to three weeks for spring. But I've showed you these before. These that that fly knit uh, $160 Air Max 90. These have been selling really well. I showed you a couple colors. This is in black and white, which is a nice colorway. Um, these are the Air Max Zeros. Now these are the Tinker shoe. These are regular 130. This is a special edition Quick Strike one. Um, these are 150. It's got a little reflective here, 3M there. Um, looks like the laces are a little more. This is like the typical nylon lace. This is more of a. Uh, um, well, that's a cotton lace. This is more of a nylon lace here. So a little bit more beefed up for the 20 bucks. Um, put that in that. Um, that 3M on that on that switch right there. So these are nice. Um, um, two Kyries, both 120. This is the Duke. One right there. You can see the DU right there. Um, I said both these are 120. And I showed you this is that that um, big Nike. Um, what color it was last time? It was a blue and orange, if I'm mistaken. Um, anyway, this is the green and, and gold. There, these are $100 for those. Um, that's about it. Um, more, more stuff will come, probably come in on the next shoe I review. 
which will probably be, I think it's the uh, 13 lows. Oh yeah, it's a low uh, navy one, which I like. I usually don't really care that much for the low tops uh, when they do it, but this navy one that's gonna come out, I think you're gonna like. Um, it's a good looking shoe in navy. How they have the, the tall navy on it with a dark navy. And, and um, well, you'll see when it comes out, I'll do the review on it. But anyway, that's it. Take your last look at Motorsport 4s. Streak your out.